Be ready to be a, be prepared to be a stepdaddy if you ain't got no kids. Point blank, period. Cause you should have had your own. And not only that, it ain't her fault that she got some. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Uncut, and I'm back with another video. So, as y'all can see today, I got a real, real good one for you guys today. We got these three women explaining how it's not a female's fault if they are a single mother. Yes, you can't make this up. Now, as I can see in the clip I just played, she's, these women really feel like being a single mother is not their fault. And everybody has their opinions. So I'm going to let them speak on how they feel like it makes sense. I'm going to let you guys watch the video. I want you guys to comment. Let me know what y'all think. Everybody got different opinions. You know what I'm saying? So everybody can get into the conversation. Right? So yeah, that, that video I just played, I'm going to play the whole video. Because if you guys did not see this video, it is crazy. Shout out to O'Shea Duke Josh. And he shared the video on his page. Got it some retraction. I feel like it was a real good video. So yeah, guys, I'm going to play the whole video. Be ready to be a... Be prepared to be a stepdaddy if you ain't got no kids. Point blank, period. Because you should have had your own. And not only that, it ain't her fault that she got some. She probably just got caught up in the situation. She probably was vulnerable at the moment. And she made a decision off her vulnerability. Something that y'all niggas don't know nothing about. Because y'all don't be vulnerable enough. So, um, yeah, though. Don't don't be little single mothers because they are a single mother. Cause hey, she probably doing better than the girls who aren't single mothers. That's usually how it be, anyways. Um, single mothers be on top of their game. Point blank, period. And they be so busy taking their kids to school and focus on their kids that they really don't be get, having time to get bust down open. So either you're gonna get a girl out here who ain't got no responsibilities or you're gonna deal with a single mother who has responsibilities and you gotta come proper if you come in at all. So for you to just say what, what is you saying what for? Because what do you not understand about don't look down on a single mother? Man, homegirl was triggered, man. Homegirl was feeling some type of way. Shout out to her, man. Uh, shout out to her. But yeah, so she said, you should have had kids of your own. Oh man, here we go. Listen, listen, listen. Men, do not rush being a father if you don't have to. Do not be like these women that get all emotional, feel like clock is ticking, feel like I gotta do it now, or I want somebody to love me. Man, we don't think like that. You know what I'm saying? Find you a good woman, vet her, make sure she got a good family. Then, if you wanna be a family man, go ahead and do that. You know what I'm saying? But her saying that it's not her fault, how's it not the woman's fault? Somebody make it make sense. How is it not her fault? You let a dude bust inside of you. Do you know what happens when dudes bust inside of you? You get pregnant. You get pregnant. You should vet the type of guy that you let nothing inside of you. Because at the end of the day, I said it once, I said it before. If it was a homeless dude on the side of the street, would you let him have sex with you? That lame nerd, would you have him have sex with you? So you did something wrong. You did not vet the right man. You did not vet the right man. So we ain't hearing it. I'm not hearing it at all. There's no way it's not her fault. There, and these women, they don't really give us any circumstances on how it could not be the woman's fault. There is some small factors. In the video I'm about to play next, this next video, shout out to this woman because she actually makes a lot of sense. But when these women, they don't give you any good reason on how it's not the woman's fault. And like what you mean? You pick who has sex with you. How's it not your fault? Somebody make it make sense. Just make it make sense. And I'm going to keep it real with y'all, guys. Uh, in the, the video I just played, that woman, the only thing I agree with her with is that, listen, man, when you get a certain age, you probably going to be a stepdaddy. Unless you got that, that money, you get a younger chick because all, all hot women over 30 got kids. 90% of them. Real talk. So it is what it is, man. So I'll, this next video I'm going to play, man, this woman, she also agrees that it could not be a woman's fault. And I know y'all thinking like, yo, what? What? Again, another one, is she crazy, she delusional? And she actually has some type of points on why it might not be a woman's fault. She actually has a little bit more valid points. So y'all should definitely check this video out. I'm about to play this one, and I'm gonna get right back. 
You know, I feel like you can't just lump everyone in. Okay, they're a single mother. They didn't make good choices. That's not that's not how it works in the real world. Yeah, I don't I don't think that you can always you can always judge her by that. I don't think that's fair. You know, I feel like I, I don't think you should judge right off the bat. No, like it's her fault that she made those those choices. Sometimes, you know, there's there's mistakes and there's things that happen in life and that could there's there's two stories to that. Obviously, there's another person involved. What if what if the you know they had a fiance, they passed away, and they were a single mother, and they didn't do anything. I mean, how badly would you feel for that woman? She had her whole life planned out, everything was fine, and then there was a car accident, something bad happened. Would you judge her for that? Well, I I mean, I don't think you should, you know, judge her by the the other people that, you know, if they if they left her or if they were incarcerated, that's not her fault. Um, you know, I sometimes, you know, things happen. Maybe they were together and they, you know, that partner promised that they were going to get married, they were going to have a house, they were going to have kids, blah, 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 and then they decided to bolt. She didn't want to give that nerd the sex, he friends on him. She didn't want to give the other guy the sex, but you know that guy that was... He was all tatted up. He'd been in prison a couple of times. You, you knew this. You knew this. Nobody well, That's a different I, story. Yeah, that's a totally different story. Saying, you're, making, if you're making bad choices. Right. Like I said, that's, that's no, then, you know, that, again, that's a very particular situation. And yeah, of course I agree with you on that. That's not fair. Okay. No. If you're making bad choices, no, that's too bad. No, you should be able to stick up for, you know, what you want. You shouldn't have to deal with other people's mistakes or, you know, their failures. No, on that, we are, we're right there. Okay. I totally agree with you. I, I feel like if they're not going to put themselves and their kids first, then, you know, they, they deserve so the kind of life they're see, making for themselves. She said, I feel like, like a billion times, bro. If I had a dollar every time she said, like, I feel like in that video, your boy would be rich. I probably would not see me on YouTube. Now let me stop. But at the end of the day, she said, I feel like I feel like a million times they all get emotionally triggered on this topic. They all feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Because men are supposed to just come white knight, come save you no matter what. You got three, four kids by three, four different dudes. Somebody's supposed to come save you. It don't matter. No accountability. Right. So she got emotional. Also, she felt like this and that it might not be the woman's fault. But one thing I do give her is that she understood that. If that woman made a bad decision, it's her fault, right? And she also did say the father could have died. Cool. If you was married, that says a lot. You was married, something tragic happened. The fact that you was married, a dude put a ring on you, I, I that means you might be a good woman. I give her that. That's probably the first woman who has some valid points. And do y'all peep how she was dressed kind of professional? You know, the first girl was dressed kind of professional too. I give her that. She got triggered. But this woman... You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, look how these women are dressed and how they carry themselves, you know? You know, that's very important. Very, very important. So at least she held some type of accountability. Now, this next video I'm about to play. Oh, man. Shout out to Homegirl because it's funny because she wanted to do another interview with me. She thought she was going to be slick in the second interview. If y'all seen the second interview, y'all know what I'm talking about. But at the end of the day, guys, she got real, real triggered. Like y'all gonna y'all really gonna like this one, man. When I play this one, she got real, real triggered because it hit home for her. It hit home. The whole single mother conversation really, really hit home for her. So guys, check this video out, and I'm gonna get right back with two parents. What makes them better? That makes them better. The stats. No. If kids with two parents. I see. You know what? No. Listen. I, listen. No. Listen. I'm listening to you. Go ahead. Listen. Kids with two parents end up better than children with that are raised by single mothers. Wow, that's a bad stereotype. A it's a stat. No. You can look it up. <laughs> I'm I don't agree. I don't agree. It's My daughter... How you, how you don't agree with a stat? I don't agree with a stat because I was a single mother for a period of time. And my daughter is not... Um, my daughter is not... A, like, she, she's fine. Like, she's not an issue in society to where she is um like you know a problem child bad grades needs to any of that no my my child literally is a a plus 4.25 gp all right guys as i can see homegirl got it got spicy homegirl got a little triggered you know what i'm saying i told her the stats stats you can't make up stats we all know Shout out to the single moms out there doing their thing, but we all know it's better to raise a child with two parents, whether you like it or not. Two parent households 
make the most success. Single mother households, dudes end up in prison, dudes end up being school shooters, dudes end up taking themselves out. It is what it is. It's sad to say, but it's a stat. You cannot make up a stat. It is way more healthy for a child to be raised with two parents. It is what it is. I don't make up the rules. I don't make up biology. It is what it is. It's way more healthy for a child to be raised with two parents. So she got triggered and she tried to say, oh, it shouldn't matter. But I feel like, well, I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's like, how you gonna argue a stat? How? You can't make this up. You arguing a stat. You arguing a stat. It's true. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're raising your daughter a certain way, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't mean that most single mothers, at the end of the day, they have a hard time doing this. It is what it is. You need a father, two parent household. I'm not saying single mothers are bad people, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I mean, don't get mad at me. You know what I'm saying? Don't get mad at the numbers. So yeah, guys, end of the day, these women, they all had their different opinions and tried to explain, defend single mothers. Women are always gonna defend each other. They're not gonna defend logic or the facts. Y'all see it here, up close and personal, on my channel. Nowhere else you gonna see a raw and uncut like this, except on uncut dating truth, guys. So guys, I appreciate y'all support. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Get on the Patreon. And guys, subscribe to my backup channel, Uncut Dating Truth TV, and I'ma get back with y'all soon.